Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can split one pipe to another pipe or we can split branches from one branch to another branch and so on. So let's start. And we will first go to tools and we will add this command prompt here. And splitting the pipe means one pipe we can split into two pipes or three pipes as per the requirement. For splitting, we have to go to piping. And you can see here this option is pipe splitting. So we have to click this one. And this splitting form is open here. And here we have a lot of options here. Split by pipe in plane, split pipe into a segment, split pipe by moving component, and merge branch or pipes. So let's say this is a long pipe. It's you know starting from this exchanger and going all the way to the Rack. So what do we have to do? We want to split this pipe here. So from this rack, the number will be different, and inside the rack number will be different. So what do you have to do here? We need you have to create one ATA at which point you want to split the pipe. If you have any component, then you simply click the component and you can split the pipe, but here we don't have any component here. We have to create one ATA. So you can type here, new ATA, choose all. You see this is the number of ATA is available here. Let's say I, I select this one, maybe general one. So we have to see where is ATA, it should be end of the Did not see ATA here, maybe we have to reconnect this one We created ATA at wrong place we delete this data. So this is our flange. So our flow is opposite direction. So we have to create order. Let's say we have to create a component here. Let's say we want to create a T. And then I set any T here. And we didn't have to connect this one. You can create data also. And let's see create data. And general. And then next connect, we will see where it is. So it is standing there. So we have to move this any component or ATA which you want to spread here. For wireframe, you have to click function F11. As I see, this ATA has no geometry. So we cannot pick this ATA. Again, press F11 to solid molding. We can see the screen. So we are going to move this T end of the rack. We give a command here. Let's say I want 
somewhat here. Now what do we have to do here? Let's say I wound up to this point a new pipe and then you have to click on here split my split pipe by moving component and I want to create new pipe so I will click down new pipe here then I set split and it's asking PK component I want to split from this point so I will select, select this tree now you can see here a new pipe is created here this, this is a whole new pipe now in this way we can split one pipe to n number of pipe as per the layout conditions okay, let's move back now let's say you don't want to split this pipe you want to split into the branch so you have to select here a new branch and then select and then select any component because I created a T it's easy to pick that's why you can create a flange or all that whatever you want See now this is a new branch So in this way you can split one pipe to n number of pipes by splitting. Always remember click on split pipe by moving components and then click on branch if you want to get new branch you have to click on new branch if you want to get new pipe then you have to get a new pipe and then second split the pipe will be split by two. Thanks for watching.